Welcome my friends, we have Town Hall 11 using 6 healers against Town Hall 11 for 3 star. We faced a clan that was pretty dominant. They got every single star but one. So let's break it down and let's see what's going to happen. Bring in the bowler, this is the best strategy today. Queen walk and then a bowler walk as well with 2 healers. So their number 3 against our number 3. Now of course the defense is not quite maxed out. Uh, as far as defensive wise, uh, the structures, so definitely at a disadvantage for, for sure. So why is he coming from the south? Uh, well, because when he drops the bowlers, he's creating the funnel, the main bulk of his bowlers and king will pass towards those inferno towers. Now, should he have gone for the uh, eagle artillery? I think he should have first. I think he should have funneled from the north, taken out the eagle artillery first, and then dealt with the uh, Inferno Towers later. Uh, because this attack actually went very close to the wire and he barely got the three star. As you can tell, he's using the Eternal Tome ability perfectly. Uh, it doesn't bring any free spells because the Eternal Tome is the free spell to protect his troops. And so those Inferno Towers, although they have some damage, not as much. But that Eagle Artillery really caused some serious damage uh, to his troops. In fact, so much damage, he didn't have many bowlers left for this attack. If his queen had dropped for some reason, maybe the healers you know, shifted off of her and she got caught alone, this would have been a failed raid. Because look at this. <clears throat> Up to the north, bowlers are dying like wildfire. The queen is the only thing left. Now, time was definitely a factor here. Look, Grand Warden and Queen available, only uh, a little over a minute left. Time could have ran out and he would have lost this base. So, you know, I people have different opinions about this, but I say take out that Eagle Artillery, artillery first and then deal with those uh, Inferno Towers if you can do that. Of course, it worked out for him here, but he only has his heroes left. You know, you should, with these bowler attacks, because they're so powerful, you should definitely be having some bowlers left over. So let's check out his second attack. This is the same attacker using six healers. I love the strategy. Uh, six healers, no free spells, three rage, two jump, if you notice that. Now these are difficult bases, not a max defense base, but still hard to three star. Uh, of course, a little easier with the, uh, the uh, bowlers, but you still got to have some skills to do what you need to do. Now on this attack, as you can tell, he's going to bring the funnel in. Look what he's doing. It's pretty obvious to see. Queen on one end, bowlers on the other. Why are you doing that? Because you're making sure there's a pathway. Imagine there's a straight path towards the core of the base. And in this uh, raid, the reason why he had more left over, because uh, the how the base was set up. He was able to take out that Eagle Artillery quicker than the last one. And uh, so that way, when the bowlers came through, it took out the Inferno Towers and the Eagle Artillery. So very well and very nicely done. As you can tell, his healers are still up. The queen does actually go around the base, which is not going to help his attack. But because of that eagle, uh, the um, not eagle, the eternal tome ability, you know, it's just so much destruction and so much protection for those bowlers. You know, a lot of people have been calling for nerfs on the bowlers. You know, we'll see how it is. I don't have bowlers yet uh, because I just don't have them. Uh, you know, it takes a long time. I can't gym them up. Uh, that quickly but in this attack you can tell because he took out the eagle artillery quicker he has way more troops left so just a couple things to think about when you are doing some town hall 11 raids hopefully this helped you try it out six healers some people use seven uh, healers as well but i think six is perfectly fine for this type of type of attack uh, because your heroes are really the key of this three star attack with the bowlers without the heroes of course you know if you were, you know, less heroes, not max heroes, you're not going to get the three star. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo.